side of the tracks. But he was, as a matter of fact, he got engaged so quickly that some of us didn't really appreciate how, you know, what had happened. He met Zoe, he had known her for years, but they really hadn't known each other that well, I didn't use the word intimately, uh, advisedly. And uh, the next thing we knew, they were engaged, uh, whereupon Nussen got his name Nussen the Hussen. <laughs> uh, we called it that ever since. And so Nussen the Hussen got married. It was a lovely affair, as I say, the union of two wonderful families. The Grover family, a different style of Jewish life, uh, warm, active, very, very Jewish, uh, and very wonderful. We, everybody seemed to live with Max and Fanny. We all went over there and enjoyed their hospitality. The roses across the river, across the tracks, I should say, uh, they were a little higher society. <laughs> and they're quietly known as the Vice Oyster of society. <laughs> <laughs> a very more modern family. Arthur Rose uh, was a pillar of the Saskatoon business community. We're all very proud of him. He was the first president of the Young Men's Board of Trade. And I remember as a young boy, how, or a young person, how impressed I was that somebody like Mr. Rose had been given this great honor. He ran a fine business, and he raised such a, a fine family. He had two daughters, as I mentioned, with Zoe and Myrna, and I looked up some just not for this event, but some old papers I had the other day. And in my high school, Nutana Collegiate, where the Rose Girls didn't go, they were often mentioned in that paper as the two loveliest girls in Saskatoon. And if you want to see that in print, I'll be glad to So it was a marriage made in heaven. And if the marriage was made in heaven, the contract was drawn up by the chief executive officer. It's God's will that they were able to come together, as I say, these two fine families, and uh, live in harmony and love, and raise a family of their own, of which every one of us is so proud. And listen, and so we congratulate you, not just on the fact that you've achieved 50 years of living together, but as in doing so, your family has made such a significant contribution to uh, this country uh, in every way, so that we uh, share the novice of the 50th anniversary with you. Now, as I say, once Nussen released my handcuffs after I'd given them the ring, the next thing was a trip to New York by car. First of all, Nussen was the only fellow in Saskatoon that could afford a car. <laughs> At that time, my lovely girlfriend, Clarice Rabinovich, I can tell you a little secret, the only reason she married me was to get rid of that name Rabinovich. <laughs> but anyhow, Nussen had his car, he was a fine dentist. I always remember somebody said to him, Dr. Grover, what do I do for yellow, what do I do for yellow teeth? And Dustin right away says, wear a brown tie. <laughs> so anyhow, they, they start on a trip to New York. Now Dustin wasn't exactly ignorant, but he was sort of a shy fellow. He really didn't know much about uh, what goes on in a marital bed. And, uh, as a matter of fact, he told me some years later that he ran down to the public library to get some information on, you know, how to perform on the wedding night. And he didn't have manuals and books and all these kinds of things that you have now. And he was uh, really a little shy about it. He rushed up, saw a book entitled How to Hug. And he quickly got it, rushed into the library, and rushed out. And 
we got home, opened it anxiously and found the followed volume seven of the Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> shy and as they were passing, they were on their way to Winnipeg, as in passing or coming to Yorkton, Zoe said, uh, you know, he would sort of put his hand on her, on her knee, put his hand on her thigh, and she said, listen, now that we're married, you can go a little further. So he drove to Winnipeg. <laughs>
percentage of people who get married will celebrate a 50th anniversary. And as yet, uh, I haven't been able to get that statistic, but I did find out that the average length of marriage in Canada is a little over 38 years. And uh, so when you are able to achieve 50, you do very well indeed. Uh, I might also add that, uh, just look, look at this statistic, that married people live longer by actual medical fact uh, than those who are single. At age 50, a married man has a life expectancy 3.7 years longer than one who was never married. Women only show a difference of one year. So you can see who gets the breaks. <laughs> well now, I just wanted to conclude by telling you about a, a dance like this in honor of the 50th anniversary, where the band played a program dedicated to all married couples who were celebrating their anniversaries. In honor of the newlyweds, they played, I didn't sleep a week last night. In honor of those who were married five years, they played night and day. In honor of those married 10 years, they played now and then. In honor of those married 25 years, they played once in a while. Just as the band got ready to play for couples married 50 years, this groper who was in the audience jumped up and said, now, just a minute, he said to the bandmaster, before you start playing memories, <laughs> remember the song, We Did It Before and We Can Do It Again. <laughs> on behalf of all your friends here and all those who aren't here, I join in wishing you many, many more years. Yours has been a life of happiness, good health. We hope it continues. But not only have you enjoyed a good life, but you've also made life very good for those with whom you come in contact. All our lives have benefited because we've known you, we've worked with you, we've lived you, with you, and we love you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sid. And now, I think it's time we called on the Chusim and Kala to respond. After 50 years, one of them will start, and the other will finish, and they'll let you guess which one it will be. <laughs>
wonderful to be Jewish. And we lived for many years being able to be proud of ourselves, to raise our children, to be proud of themselves, with very little discrimination or animosity. And we're grateful for everything that we have. Lately, I've had people say to me, what's so golden about the golden years? I can tell you that for us, they're golden. And for that, we're very grateful. And I want to, before I stop, and before we forget, to acknowledge that we have some important anniversaries in this group. Tomorrow we celebrate our 50th anniversary. Our son Peter and his wife Marla celebrate their 70th. 70th. Spike Abramson and Sue were married on, came to our party 10 years ago on our 40th anniversary. Congratulations. And Lloyd and Leah Minovitz are celebrating their anniversary today. Tommy oh. Feldman is celebrating his birthday. Oh.